good morning hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna vlog i think i'm gonna vlog for two days because i've not vlogged in ages and yeah i just thought why not tomorrow i'm doing something a little bit fun today i'm just getting a few bits done um wow that rhymed yeah i just missed vlogging so i thought i would just start off this morning whilst i'm just getting myself ready i've just had a shower and I've just made some breakfast, which I actually filmed for um, my home Instagram page. I love posting on my home Instagram page so much because it's more like recipes and cleaning and things that I just do like day to day. And um, yeah, I love filming cooking videos and they seem to do really well on my home Instagram. So if you're ever interested, um, yeah, have a little look. And I also usually post them to TikTok as well. Um, but yeah, I just, I just made some like um, banana pancake bites because I posted them the other day and everyone wanted the recipe. So I've just done that. I can insert the little video on here if you're interested, but they were so yum. I hate answering the door in my dressing gown. Be right back. Okay, they're taking ages to come up for some reason. Sometimes they just call me so I let them in and they're actually delivering to somebody else. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, I'll insert the pancake bites video. Um, yeah, I had those for breakfast, so they were so yummy. So I saw this recipe on TikTok and obviously had to try it. It is these mini banana pancake bites. I'll list all the ingredients down below, but you just need self-raising flour, some protein powder, some sweetener, an egg white, and some milk. I think that's everything. And yeah, you mix that all together. That's your pancake batter. And then you chop up one banana into fairly thick chunks and then plop it into your pancake batter then mix that all around make sure they're all coated and then on a medium heat you just want to basically fry them off until they become golden brown and i did have some spare batter so i just made some mini pancakes with no banana in them and yeah once they were all done i popped them into a bowl and you can put any topping of your choice on i use nutella i mean it is the fake nutella from aldi but tastes the same to me and these are such a good treat they're a good breakfast or a little dessert and they're so yum and now i'm just putting on a little bit of skincare no makeup today I'm not going anywhere fancy um i really don't wear makeup most of the week and I feel like that's how I keep my skin pretty good. If I was wearing makeup every single day, my skin just hates it. Um, but I've just popped on this Tatcha serum. Tatcha. I love this serum and it smells so good. And then I've gone back to loving this Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which I used to love. Um, and then I got sent it recently and I was like, oh wow, I forgot about you. And it's so so nice um so i'm just popping that on and then i'm just going in with some spf i've been using the dr Paw Paw your gorgeous skin spf 50 um and i actually mentioned this in my last q a it's really really nice so i'm just gonna go in with that and that will be today's base I'm just getting ready to top out and do some errands like take oh that went in my eye take things back to the post office um do some returns i need to pick up a birthday card for my boyfriend because it's his birthday next week i would say i will show you what i got him but i don't know whether this video is going up before not that he watches my videos um and also it's wrapped but yeah i will show you next week or tell you next week because he would have opened it by then but yeah look how nice this um spf leaves your skin so glowy um i'm just gonna pop a little bit of <gasps> gimme brow through my brows they're in desperate need but i've just not got around to getting them done but whilst i'm in town i'm also gonna try and get my nails done not booked an appointment but they're in a little bit of need i've gone shorter again but yeah this one broke this one came off and it's thursday so i kind of want them nice for the weekend hopefully we can get a quick little appointment what have i done this week this week i've just been doing so much admin i feel like and that is so boring for vlogs okay i'm just gonna quickly get dressed see i don't think my postman was even coming up here unless he's just left it downstairs which they do do that because they're lazy and actually Oh, little bit of tea. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, sometimes my postman 
I mean, it's quite often they leave the parcel downstairs, but a brand actually sent me out something and they were like, hey, like, did you receive, um, you know, your package? And they're probably thinking, why is she not posted about it or, you know, thanked us because I always do that. But I was like, no, I haven't received anything. Like, when did it get sent out? Are you sure it got delivered and stuff? And they sent me a photo of it downstairs in my lobby. My husband had obviously just dropped it there and not actually delivered it to my door. And nowhere to be seen. We've got a little group chat with my neighbours and stuff and I said hey has anybody seen my parcel silence everybody denied all knowledge um so yeah someone actually stole my parcel so I don't really like it when they leave it downstairs but most of the time it's fine it's just you know you can never trust anybody anybody um anyway I'm gonna get dressed and we are going to go run some errands in town. Okay, this is outfit of the day. I've just got on these green joggers from Cotton On. I love these. They're so comfortable. And the material is just so soft. And they fit really, really nice. I think I've got them in a size. Size medium. And I'll link them down below because they're honestly my go-to joggers right now. I love the shape of them. Everything. Um, then I've just got on a basic little white vest. I think this is from... This is Zara, and that's it really. I think I might put a jacket on. I've just done a little plait because my hair is frizzy, and I'll probably just pop some trainers on. Just need to do a little spruce before I go out because I hate coming back to a mess that I left it in. Um, and this is what happens when I'm filming what I'm eating. I just make such a mess, and then I deal with it afterwards. <laughs> Side note, I actually bought the um, iPhone 14. I've been using it to film all my content and the camera on it is so much better than mine. I have the iPhone 12, but I haven't actually transferred everything over to this yet because I don't even know why, I've just been putting it off. I feel like I have phone anxiety when it comes to transferring from one to the other because I've got so many photos and things on my phone and it's not like I have to give mine back. I can just keep it and you know not keep all the photos on it but I don't know it's just stressing me out the, the thought that it takes so long as well so I probably I'm gonna try and do that today this is the wrong time by the way um the time is actually half 10 but yeah I I really want to do it but I'm just putting it off and there's never a right day to wait around all day for your phone to be you know transferring so at the moment it's just on a tripod and it's actually really convenient to just pick this up and film and not have it as my actual phone so i'm kind of half tempted to just keep it as a filming phone anyway i'm rambling i've tied it up a little bit and i'm now gonna head out also some packaging for my day has just arrived these are basically the postage boxes so little sneak peek of i mean is that a hint? I don't know <laughs> if some of you can work that out. Um, but I mean, I'll just tell you the little hint. It's a little bit bigger than the boxes that I use to post the planners. So yeah, don't know if you'll be able to work that one out.
I'm back from town and I was actually gone for a couple of hours. Oh, first things first, wash the hands. Oh my God, it's so warm, but the sun kept going in and out. And then at some point I was like, oh my God, I'm freezing. And then I was boiling and it was an emotional roller coaster. I went to get my nails done and I did show you, I think, but yeah, I went for really short black tips, which were inspired by my friend Tia. I saw her at the weekend and she had these and I loved them. I thought they were just so cute and natural, um, but still a little bit different to French. Um, then I went to Sainsbury's and picked up some dinner um and some groceries might as well show you also i did find my parcels at the bottom of the stairs which i said would happen so i'll go through those in a minute i got some strawberries something's leaked on there oh my gosh no i got these yogurts and one has opened they've come straight out of the packaging which is really bad and one's opened some more cappuccino sachets love these got some more milk this is my favorite oat milk by the way um i got some cards for upcoming birthdays weddings etc got dinner which i'm gonna have fish cakes and my boyfriend's actually coming over tonight so it's always handy when there's two in a pack because otherwise i just never end up eating the second one unless i leave it in the freezer for months and then yeah the rest of the yogurts and some deodorant and then, oh yeah, I also went to prep for lunch and I had the Italian chicken salad, which is just my favorite. But I saw that they had a lemon meringue cookie. So I'm gonna have that later and I'll do a little taste test because I think it's new and it looked really good. Um, then I went to B&M, got some toilet rolls, got some <laughs> toilet cleaner, some wipes, some shower gel and some toothpaste. And that is everything. That I got. I also did some returns. I also went for a little walk because I don't really have time to go to the gym today. I did sit and do a little bit of editing in prep as well. So, yeah, all in all, successful morning. Wow, I was thirsty. Oh, there's chocolate yogurt all in that bag. I'm going to clean that up. Um, I'm actually going to film a couple of reels for my homepage as well putting stuff away and things like that, restocking. And then I'm gonna sit down for a few hours and finish off some editing for the day. I said I was gonna go through the PR that I got, so let me quickly do that now before I carry on. So the first one is from Amore Lashes and I actually got the Glossy Box box for this month and they were featured in there, which was a massive deal for them because I follow them on Instagram and they were saying that it's like a dream come true. So I thought that was so cool. Um, and I tagged them and they said, we'd love to send you some more product. And my sister Zoe has actually been telling me about this brand for ages because she's been using them as like individual daily lashes. And, oh, this is so cute. It says, hello, you've been expecting me. Um, and I keep saying to her, have you got lash extensions on? Because they look so good and like seamless. She's like, no, you need to try them. They're from Amore Lashes. And she says, they're so easy to use and I've not tried them yet. So I'm really excited to. Packaging is so nice. So this, pull, whoops, this pulls out and then all of the bits inside that you need are in there. I'll definitely put them on ASAP because yeah, Zoe's look so good um, and they really look professional. So, oh, I think these are phone cases. This is exciting because I put on my story the other day about my new um, iPhone and some phone case companies reached out to me. So this is called By Zoe Charlotte and I always find that name so funny because it's both my sister's names, Zoe and Charlotte. Um, and they've sent over some cases uh, for my new phone. So these are what they've sent, the floral ones and then also some personalised ones which are so nice. So I'm definitely going to pop one of those on really soon. Thank you so much. This is from Superdry and I did actually get some of their, I don't know if you heard that, I did get some of their um, products sent through the other day. But we also have another little mini one. So I'm not sure what this is. Ah, another little top. I forgot that I chose this one. This is really cute for 
transitional season maybe going into autumn and it just says super dry and it's like stitched on but this is just a really cute basic little top i like that a lot speaking of more pr i got sent some the other day i feel like this lighting is a bit off because the window is like this side of me but i got some from gymshark which was really exciting they are like flared leggings or like straight leg leggings and i've been wanting some of these for so long but they're always sold out from Gymshark and they're still sold out in black. But I got this like icy grey bluey colour and yeah, I don't know if you can tell but they're more of like a yoga pant instead of a tight legging. So I think these would be so comfortable to number one, obviously work out in probably more like Pilates or just to wear like on a comfy day when you kind of want to look like you're in gym wear but you're sort of not at the same time so i'm really excited about those these are really cool they've got like stitching all down the sides and they just say gymshark around the band i'll find these ones and link them for you i got a nice oversized baggy white tee i love working out in t-shirts especially in the summer with like shorts um and yeah i go to a step class on friday and it gets so hot and yeah i love to wear a baggy t-shirt so and at pilates as well and then on the back it just says gymshark and i just thought this was really really nice i got this in a large so it was nice and big one more pair of leggings just some green ones and the thing i love about that top is that it will go with all of these obviously because it's white and then yeah i just got some of these leggings and i love their branding it's just so subtle and all their colors are so nice so yeah that is everything i got from gymshark and then finally i got this through this morning which is from fenty and it's a new perfume which i've not actually sprayed yet but i opened it up and it's got my name on it which i thought was so cute to have the little personal touch should we spray it oh that smells really expensive that smells really like musky Oh yeah, it's like a old money scent, lovely. So I'm gonna take some photos of these, put them on my story, and then we're gonna crack on with some editing. I've been editing for a while now, being productive. Um, I'm gonna have my snack, which is my prep cookie. I'm trying to drink loads of water as well, and the only problem with drinking loads of water is that I'm constantly needing a wee. But you win some, you lose some. So let me show you the cookie. I might just prop you up that will do um so yeah i went in to get lunch and i saw this and i really wasn't planning on getting a cookie but i saw this and i was like that looks amazing there was one left and i've never seen it before and look how good this looks wow okay i'm very excited for this should we break it I love white chocolate. I love lemon. Taste test. This is actually incredible. Oh my goodness. This is the most perfect cookie I've ever had. The texture the amount of chocolate the touch of lemon you have to try this if you like white chocolate and lemon oh my god i actually can't tell you how good that is that is such a good cookie i'm so glad i got it wow i'm very much enjoying this i actually didn't know that prep did any other cookies ever i've only ever seen the chunky chocolate one that everyone knows and loves um but i recently was in london and i don't know whether london preps have more or bigger preps have more but my cousin was like you need to try the blonde chocolate cookie from prep and i was like is it new i've never heard of it and she was like no it's not that new um and i tried it and oh my god that was amazing as well it was like um what's it called like caramel blonde chocolate i can't really explain it other than caramel but that was really good but this i really hope they keep this because it's incredible 
I'm gonna get back to editing, but this is definitely giving me a little boost. Okay, it's a lot later now, and I'm actually making some dinner. My boyfriend's on his way. Dinner, I'm making some veggies in the air fryer. Oh, the coloring's gone very weird. There we go. So I've got potatoes, courgettes, red onions, and I'm just gonna pop that in there. Also, I'm gonna do some broccoli with it, and the main thing with fish cakes. So they are just in the oven. We're gonna have dinner and then we're actually gonna pop out because I've really wanted to try Too Good To Go for ages and this is not an ad, this is not sponsored. This is completely just my own thing that I wanted to do in this video. Um, but yeah, I keep seeing it everywhere and I've never tried it and if you don't know what it is, it's basically an app where you can buy a magic bag from places like Starbucks, restaurants local to you. Um, it's a lot of coffee shops really on there but Basically they put together like a little bundle of things that are going to get chucked in the bin because obviously when shops don't sell things they can't sell them to customers when it's like out of date and stuff. Um, so yeah this just prevents food waste and you never know what you're going to get in the bag until you collect it. So I've actually got one to collect from Starbucks tonight and also the other one is from Spa Supermarket. So I'm excited because I'm definitely a girl who likes a surprise and yeah I just thought it'd be fun to have a look to see how good they actually are because I've heard such good things. Not sponsored, completely bought these myself and just wanted to give the app a go. So we're going to have dinner and then we're going to pop out and we'll see what little goodies we get and I'll tell you how much everything was and stuff when I unbox them but yeah just thought I'd give you a little lowdown on that. Okay as I just stopped filming I got a message from the app to say that the spa supermarket doesn't actually have anything left today which fair enough if they can obviously sell everything um so I've been refunded for that one but I still have my Starbucks one to collect and yeah hopefully that one doesn't let us down if I like it and if it's good maybe I could do a whole video um of getting one for each meal or something I don't know this is dinner fish cake potatoes and veggies and some more veggies I'm gonna have to hold this camera because it's not gonna stay. Michael wants to show us his new favourite song. Alright. Okay. Right, I need to go in, so you need to pull up. She said, right back. Hopefully, I'm just doing good. But a game with aspirin. They've just kicked. Maybe jump in a black room. Okay, I've got the bag. Not, been, not looked in it first. I, I went to the wrong store. And they were like, that's the, we are in the wrong cover. So I had to go to the other one. But I want to have a look. Does it look good? You can you can reveal it to me, actually, bit by bit. I'll start with the worst thing. Okay. Is it all, like, sandwiches? And no sweets? No pastries? So, the worst thing... That's, this is in your opinion, by the way. No, it's the worst thing. Is a Beyond Meat. A vegan sandwich. I've had that before and I actually liked it. Okay. Good. Next. Next worst thing. Just do any. Is this. Oh, that looks nice. Chicken mozzarella and pesto pacacha. Yeah. That looks I'm, I'm doing it good. for you. Okay. I'm well, there must be some quite good things because that looks quite nice. Worst thing is a bacon roll. How many things are in there? A few more things. Oh. Um, no more. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, they might be like loads. Okay, bacon How much roll. Is the I'll tell you at the end. Have a bacon roll. Oh no, breakfast sandwich. Oh, they're supposed to be really nice. You'll like that. Smoke, smoked bacon, tomato relish, scrambled egg, cheddar, and bechamel sauce. I think this is your favourite. Ha! <laughs> yeah, but not if it's out of date. <laughs> it's not out of date. Oh. You just have to have it when we get in. Ah. Uh, Peach and raspberry overnight oats. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What? I mean, okay, so I reckon. Right, if I start driving. Yeah, you can start sure. driving, yeah. I reckon if you bought all of these things individually, it'd probably be about £20, wouldn't it? 
probably not far off it, yeah. How much do you think I paid? Five pound forty. Five pounds. I'm good. So yeah, I paid five yeah, pounds for that's, that bag. That's good. It's, which I think is good. then the cost good. of petrol to get here. I that's think good. they're it's actually, good. it's a really good idea. It's a idea. great idea. And it's it a good idea, like that would be a lunch idea. for the week, wouldn't it? Five yeah. pounds on all your lunches. Yeah, if you're a small man. Small man? Small man. Oh, small man. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's good. It'd be I, your lunch for the week. Yeah, I, I want to try Pret next because I reckon Pret would be amazing. Pret's so expensive. Yeah, but you realise it's the stuff that no one's bought. Oh, it's not. It's the, well, yeah, but sometimes it's just because I got loads of stock of it. Everything in Pret I like. So, and everything in Pret is so expensive. Mm. So if you've got a bag of Pret for five pounds, you can't even get anything in Pret for less than five pounds, I don't think. I thought it was a success. Yeah, that's good. Well done. Um, and I would do job. it again. Good job. I just wish they put some like muffins in. Because <laughs> I was actually queuing up looking at their cakes thinking they look really nice. I hope they put some on that. Yeah. Anyways, a nice little review on this fine Thursday evening. Woo! Are you excited for tomorrow? Yeah, I what don't really know what it is though. Tennis? But what are we doing? I don't know. We're going to. This thing is so in the way. Oh. We're going to um, an Audi event tomorrow, which I'm gassed about because Audi's oh, like I my- Oh, it was Wimbledon. No, Audi. Yeah, Audi said have Wimbledon. It's only because Wimbledon's on this week. It's a Wimbledon theme. It's not actually Wimbledon. Oh, I thought we were going to Wimbledon. No. I told Sam and he was like, yeah, that's great. Oh, no. <laughs> Did, did you think we were actually going? Yeah. Are you upset we're not? No. Because you messaged me earlier saying you don't want to play tennis in front of loads of people. Is that why? You thought we were going to Wimbledon to play tennis? Well, first I thought we were going to watch Wimbledon. So did I when I first saw the event. Then I thought we were going to play tennis on the Wimbledon courts. It's okay. Where is it then? It's just in Wimbledon. <laughs> So we are going to Wimbledon. No, but Wimbledon is a place. Yeah. Yeah, but we're not going to the Wimbledon. Where are we going? Just to some tennis balls? Probably. I'm going to say goodnight now, but I'm going to vlog tomorrow. And we're going to an Audi event, so it should be fun. Can he wait? Can he wait? Good morning, everybody. It is now Friday, and I've had a busy morning. I've actually been to the gym this morning, bright and early. I went to body step, which was very, very difficult today. Um, it's very warm outside, which makes me really happy. Oh, got some deliveries today as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful day, and I'm very, very excited this Friday. We've had some iced coffees and croissants for breakfast, and I also had the little um, muesli pot as well, because I was really hungry this morning. And yeah, I've just been getting on with some exciting things and I'm not gonna reveal too much, but I will give you a very, very tiny sneak peek of what's to come for my day because the new stock arrived this morning. This is what, this is what I'm currently looking at. Hopefully that doesn't give away anything, but I will show you the corner of some products. So you get a little bit of an idea and maybe you can guess, but I'm really, really planning to launch next week. So I've been doing a few little teasers on Instagram today um, and if all goes to plan then next week will be the launch. A tiny sneak preview. Oh, <laughs> it's barely focusing but there's one corner. Here's another corner of another product and it's not really focusing because obviously it's not really in shot but oh there you go. So I'm not gonna show you anything else. Um, but yeah, anyways, I look a hot mess because I wash my hair as well. There's no way I can get away with, oops. There's no way I can get away with not washing my hair on a Friday after that class. But I've made a mess in here because I've been unboxing everything and I'm now going to start getting ready to go out because we're gonna go out in just over an hour to Audi. And yeah, really, really nice day to go into London. So I'm very excited and I feel like I need to wear something a little bit sporty because obviously we're doing tennis. So funny that we both thought it was Wimbledon, like the real Wimbledon. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready and then I will quickly show you what I'm wearing before we go. Okay, we are on our way to the station to then go to Audi. 
um, and just stepped outside and I was not expecting it to be this warm. It's very, very hot today. It's 28 degrees and I knew it was going to be like 24, 25, but I think it's gone up since I checked. And this is my outfit. I'm wearing these parachute pants from Cotton On. Actually, full outfit is Cotton On. And this little white tee. What are you wearing? Bruised banana. Arsenal. Yeah, it's very hot and I'm a bit concerned. Why? <laughs> because we're playing sports. I've got my SPF on though. Summer's only just begun. Um, yeah, you can't really see it. I don't know if the light is very good. Got my sunnies on and we are well on our way. Yay to Friday. Okay, we've just got to Wimbledon. It was actually a very, very long journey from me. And I'm tired already. Wimbledon is actually such a nice place. I think I've been here like a couple of times, but I do remember it being a, I mean, all you can see is <laughs> that. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to the park and very excited. I think they've got pims there or like the Audi equivalent of pims. And I'm really excited because I'm very thirsty for a nice little beverage. Okay, we found the park, but <laughs> I think we just got a cab to the park and he was like, it's through those gates. And I was like, where? But we're on a hunt to find it. So hopefully we do. Here we are. Wow, that looks very fancy, doesn't it? This is so lovely. I'm pretty sure we're heading over there in the corner and I do spot the little pimps tent, which is fun. We've got our little summer punch, which is, I think that's called, what's it called? Summer punch? It's called, what's it called? Austin. 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 <laughs> Ready for our game? Turtle Bay and we've got curry goat, fried chicken, some trini doubles and some palms and these are our favourite dishes. I've actually not tried this but these two when we used to come back in the day when we were first dating three years ago. Yeah. First date was... No, when we were first dating. Oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah. We used to come, well we come back a couple of times and they were our favourite. 